In 2021, here Geneva embarked on a new project looking into the future of humanitarian coordination. The global humanitarian agenda has seen strong commitments to leadership and collective action. Evidence, however, suggests that these commitments are at best only partially realized. Via a literature review, we articulated four working hypotheses as to what continues to systematically impede effective humanitarian coordination. One, the overarching purpose of humanitarian coordination is generally clear in its operational or programmatic terms at the country level, prevent inefficiencies and gaps in coverage. What is not clear is how much strategic coordination is expected. It is one thing to state that agencies will agree on priority actions and undertake joint assessments or planning. It is another to ensure it happens when everyone defines needs differently and prioritizes types of interventions from their own perspective. Two, in relation to form and function, there is a disconnect between the existing coordination infrastructure and the current humanitarian landscape. The world around us has changed much faster than our mechanisms and their ways of working. Not all emergencies fit neatly within the two recognized models for coordination of international humanitarian response. Three, agency incentives do not facilitate coordination. Individual agencies focus primarily on their own mandate and funding. Donors request agencies to report individually, and internally, agencies first reward that which is done for the individual agency, not the work that is carried out for the collective. And finally, four, coordination has become too technical at the expense of values. A significant amount of time is employed to fill in forms and reports, but there is little analysis of the information collected on how activities are in fact affecting needs, if the overall impact of a response is positive, and if not, what should be done differently. Based on the insights gathered throughout the project, we have drawn up a roadmap that aims to move from analysis to solutions, it suggests short, medium, and long-term milestones to reach a form of humanitarian coordination that has a clear strategic vision, is value-driven, incentivized, and fit for purpose. The roadmap can be read top to bottom, chronologically, or left to right, thematically. Reading it row by row gives you an idea of the milestones per topic, with later milestones building on previous ones. A column-by-column column read allows you to get an overview of the milestones across all subjects in the short, medium, and long or longer term. The milestones are subdivided depending on the actors they address. This comprehensive document provides suggestions to OCHA, the Interagency Standing Committee, agencies, donors, as well as those in coordination leadership positions. An interactive, clickable version of the roadmap goes into greater detail as to what the recommendations entail. We recommend opening it in Adobe to optimize use. This video is the first of a series. The next installments will cover each of the four issues in thematic order. All project outputs are available at here-geneva.org forward slash future of humanitarian coordination.